Want to sit on chairs or? This is no, this is fine. Okay. Indian style. How large is the newspaper? The circulation. Four hundred and fifty thousand. Half a million. Uh, Swami, um, what is your purpose uh, here with your uh, uh, with the faith in uh, in uh, seeking the growth and so on? How did the Padpas you can explain? The purpose of our of our seeking the growth is so that people all over the world can become happy again. People who are suffering due to lack of uh, knowledge about who they are and what their relationship is with God. And as a result of that ignorance, they're performing so many activities which cause them pain and misery so that they can become happy again. Um. How is how will this be achieved? Misery, misery is caused uh, due to ignorance. Uh -huh. Do you admit or not? The more we are kept in darkness of knowledge, mm -hmm. we suffer. What is the difference between uh, what is called developed nations and not developed nations? This America belongs to the Red Indians, and uh, because they are not developed, their condition was developed and different mm -hmm. from the present America. They could not um, construct such big, big house and big, big roads and land because they are in ignorance. That is the difference. Prosperity, no prosperity, happiness, not happiness. They have ignorance and knowledge. They have, is it that they uh, have confused uh, materialism with uh, happiness? No, not material. I mean, I would say happiness is knowledge. Mm -hmm. Happiness is knowledge. Man who is in ignorance, he is suffering. And as you say, material and spiritually. Uh, a person who is not in developed consciousness is separate. And they commit sinful acts of. I beg your pardon? They commit sinful acts also in ignorance. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the difference between uh, man and animal. Animal means not developed consciousness. Mm -hmm. they, some of them they say the animal has no soul. Uh, that is foolishness. Mm -hmm. Animal has soul, but Consciousness is not developed, just like a child. The father's consciousness and the child's consciousness different. Why it is different? The child's consciousness is not developed. Father's consciousness is developed. Because the child is talking some nonsense, you cannot say there is no soul. There is soul. But the consciousness is not developed. Do you see hope for mankind in the future? Yes. Uh, mankind be happy immediately, provided the consciousness is developed. Can uh, do you think that this this will ever uh, uh, be uh, be achieved? Uh, Yes, it can be achieved. Just like I have sent a letter to your government. Uh, 
asking them question that you write on the bills, in God we trust. Mm-hmm. So whether you trust in God blindly or knowingly, that was my question. Suppose I trust you. So you must be trustworthy. Otherwise, why should I trust you? So this question I ask you God when to write the bills. In God we trust. So what kind of trust it is? Um, if we actually trust, then you must know the God is trustworthy. Or you blindly trust as a slogan. But that vapor letter is not in the plan. So what is your opinion? In God we trust. So how do you trust? Why you trust? This is my question. It would be a matter of faith, I suppose. Huh? It would be a matter of faith, I suppose. Faith? Maybe divine. You may have faith, I may not have faith. That is not the question. Just like in the bank, you deposit some money. You some may have faith or no faith, but the bank is trustworthy. You know that your money deposited in the bank. Uh, will not be cheated. Similarly, if you trust in God, then you must know whether God is that why we would be we mean by God. It's not the question of faith. Faith is bad. It's the question of understanding. Mm-hmm. So that we want, that America especially, we want favor among all other nations, you are going to go richer than other nations. So why don't you take God seriously? Why should you trust in God as, as faith? No. You understand what is God. And have your faith and full that God is yes, trustworthy. So that others may also know that God is a trustworthy. That is our mission that why God and trust, how we trust in God should be a slogan. Let it be a fact by scientific study, by scientific understanding. There is a way to understand why God is trustworthy. It's not the question of faith, it is a fact. Just like a child and has faith in his parents. So that is not an artificial thing, that is fact. And the parents are trustworthy to the child. There is no doubt about it by nature. So similarly, why we should be in trust in God? Why blindly? Why not trust with knowledge? And that is our movement. And every civilized person has got some faith in God. But now they are advanced. They should understand what is God, why we must have faith in Him. That is Krishna Gandhi. It's a matter of uh, education. Simply faith, blind faith, will not end you. Mm-hmm. And therefore they are becoming godless. And gradually, if we do not understand uh, factually what is God, then the whole human civilization will be godless. To become godless means again animal. 
That is the difference between animal and man. In the animal society, there is no question of religion, faith, God. These things are not there. The human civilization, if it becomes like that, without any faith in God, without any understanding of God, then why is the difference between cats and dogs and human beings? We must know God scientifically. That is the actual aim of human life. Suppose the dog is sleeping on the street without any care, whether a car is coming and smashes, he is also sleeping, sound sleeping. And we are sleeping in a very nice apartment. So after all sleeping, and he is also enjoying sleeping, I am also enjoying sleeping. So do you think to change the, uh, I mean to say, circumstances of the sleeping? I am sleeping in a very nice apartment, he is sleeping on the floor. Does it mean this is advancement of civilization? Sleeping is sleeping. Eating is eating. Sex life, the Male dog enjoying with female dog, the sex pleasure is to him. And we are enjoying with the beautiful woman. The sex pleasure is the same. Therefore, you take some eatable, either in gold pot or an iron pot. The taste is the same. Simply by putting the full star in the golden pot, does it mean that the taste has changed? So the taste of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending is the same for the human being as well as the animal. But difference, what is the difference between the animal and the man? The animal cannot know God. That is not possible. The human being can know. That is the opportunity of this human life. If we are missing that opportunity, then we are living an animal civilization. This is not civilization. Animal life is not civilization. Civilized means not animal life. Something more than that. That is God God. Do you have programs developed to educate uh, mankind towards this God consciousness? Yes. Concrete education, not fictitious. Concrete. How will um, how will you get man to uh, uh, become aware of the uh, situation so he could uh, desire, even desire? It's a very simple fact. Uh, if you simply understand that one verse in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, in reality is stated that Sarvajoni Shu Kaunti or Sambhavanti Murta Yaja, Tasang Mahajani Brahma, Ahang Bija Pradhapita. Very simple thing. Just like uh, the earth or the material nature, uh, everything is coming out of the material nature, beginning from the grass to the highest intellectual human being, or more than that. Where from they are coming? From this material nature, either earth, water, fire, this 
elements of material nature. Let, let us see from the ground, the grass is coming, the vegetable is coming, from the water the fishes are coming, all the ants are coming, the germs are coming, then after eating that vegetable, the animals are coming. In this way everything is coming generated from the earth, from material nature. Is it not a fact? Mm-hmm. So we are coming from material nature. That means we are material nature is our mother. From the womb of mother, the child comes. But from the material nature everything is coming. Therefore, according to basic knowledge, this earth is also mother. We have got seven mothers, according to Vedic civilization. Adho Mata, Guru Patni, Brahmani, Raj Patnika, Venu Dhatri, Tatha Prithi, Saptai Eti, Makarismita. Adho Mata means original mother, real mother. And Guru Patni, the wife of teacher, the wife of a Brahmana. Brahmana means the most intellectual class of men in the human society, Brahmana. It is not a caste, it's a section in every human society. Always there is a class of men, very intelligent, they are called Brahmana. So, Adhubhāta, Guru-patri, Brahmani, Rāja-patrinika and the queen, Parmani, there are kings. She is also considered as mother. And Dhenu means cow, is mother. Because we drink her milk, she supplies milk, that mother. And Prithi in the earth, they are coming out. That is mother. Really, we see coming. And there are maybe different varieties of sons, that doesn't matter. But anything coming out of the earth, the earth is mother. And that is coming out, that is son. Then where is the father? There must be father. Is it possible mother can give birth to a child without father? Hmm. Is it possible? I wouldn't think so. Huh? I wouldn't think so, no. So there must be father. This is conclusion. So who is searching up of that father? The answer is in Bhagavad Gita. I am a piece of Bhagavad Gita. I am father. You cannot deny father. That's not possible. If there is mother, if there is child, that must be father. Mm-hmm. This is human sense. An animal sense is, I don't care for father. Maybe father is not. There is animal sense. So do you want to keep the human society in such ignorance? That's like cats and dogs. The dogs do not care who is father. This movement wants to give education to the human society. Yes, there is father. And that is actual fact. Without father, how there is child? Is it possible? So at the present moment, the human society is child playing on the lap of mother, that's all, in big, big motor cars, that's all, without any knowledge of father. 
But with the human being, remain simply satisfied with toys on the lap of mother, or you try to understand with father. So we are satisfied with the toys and playing on the lap of the mother. The motor car is running very swiftly. Head break or neck break? Speed. And they are thinking they are civilized. At all. But who is your father? Don't know. Then where do you live? Huh? Where do you where does he you... lives on the my lap of mother that's all. That is child. Child is satisfied on the lap of the mother, that's what I am saying. He doesn't, the child doesn't care to know the father. But that is father, that's a fact. That means the present civilization is childish civilization. Does not care to know the father. So whether the human civilization with human child, children, they fight among themselves. Children, how you can make them, my dear children, live peacefully. Though for the time being they may be. Again they will fight. They'll cry. And that is what you know. What the United Nations has done for the last forty years. They're fighting like children or animals. So you keep, if you keep them as child or animal, do you think there will be peace? That is not possible. It is futile that thing, the talking of big, big wars for peace. That is not I think in Melbourne, I, in my press interview, I said, the United Nations is working. I just came from Vancouver from the Habitat Conference. The UN is having a Habitat Conference in Vancouver. Mm. And um, believe me, it is not united. There are constant there are discussions, there are arguments, sometimes there are walkouts. So many things, and they're not able to reach any conclusions. They can't agree with each other. How they can? Do you mean to say, with dogs simply bite him, they come to a conclusion? <laughs> that is not so. <clears throat> there is no aim. What is the actual <clears throat> aim of life? So this is very important moment. Uh, at least the intelligent class of men, we must understand it thoroughly. It's like in this body, there are different parts, different sections of the body, but the most important section is the brain. Similarly, uh, the important section of society means one is fully in God consciousness. I you can cut my hand and say leap. You can cut my leg and say leap. But you cut my head, then it's blind. So at the present moment. There are big, big scientists, big, big technologies, that's all right. That is hands and legs. But there is no brain. Therefore, in one sense, you can take it as dead society.
So in my uh, opinion, I like your country, America. Sometimes I call it is my fatherland uh, because these American boys they are helping me, pushing on this movement. So I am very much obliged to these boys. Now let us take it a little more seriously, state-wise. And in America takes it seriously, other nations will follow. As there is the United Nations organization in America, they make a nice organization to understand God, United Nations, God concept. People will benefit. You see America getting more God conscious? At least I see majority of my disciples are American. Why not expand it? But before Richard asked me a question, mm. what is the difference between our movement and, say, another religion like the Sikhs or some other? I mean, don't misunderstand. It is religion means a kind of faith. Just like you are Christian, I am Hindu, so you have faith in Christian, you have faith in Hindu. that is another thing. But this is we understand religion in a different way according to English dictionary. A real religion means the law given by God. This is the shortcut definition of religion. And if you do not know what is God and if you do not know what is His law, then what is the meaning of religion? There is no meaning of religion. If blindly if I have some faith in some dogmas and ritualistic ceremony, that is not religion. Religion means the science by which you can understand God and the law of God. That is religion. It's not a kind of faith. That's like state laws. You may have faith or no faith. The state law is law. You have to obey. Just like I have come in America, in our country, the street law is keep to the left. So I have come to America, you say, keep to the left. If I say, no, I have no faith in you, keep to the left. No, I must stop it. That is law. Similarly, religion means you may have faith or no faith, but you must stop it. It is a must. It is not optional. Very easy. That I explained many times that uh, characteristics and means characteristic. It's like every one of us, we are servant. So uh, the living entity is servant. He may have faith or no faith. He must be a servant. But if you don't become servant of God, then you become servant of dog. That is your advancement of civilization. When there is no service for God, just like here we have got service for God, there is no question of serving God. But when we forget service of God, then automatically we become a service of dog. But service, I am servant, that's a bad. I voluntarily keep a dog and serve. If I have no master, then I keep a master, dog, cat. 
You call it by the name pet. What is a pet? I give that is, that's all. So this is our advancement of Surya. We have refused to serve God and you voluntarily accept that to serve dog. And in India they are also learning. <laughs> and commonly dog keeping, dog there was in this neighborhood. And they were not allowed to enter the room or house. Now they are keeping dogs just like the Western people They are making dogs so and so on. So on. Mm-hmm. They are learning how to serve dogs. And they're giving up God. Yeah. yeah, there are a lot of people here that, that worship their, their yeah. pets. Yes. The Russians were, serve Lenin. I mean, they're imitating. The Western people are very expert in this subject matter. They are learning everything. But we can't avoid serving. No, that is not possible. That's all there is in life to say. Now we are sitting so many gentlemen. He's serving some paper, he's serving some paper. And you are serving God. The service is there. Nobody can say, no, I don't serve anyone. Is there any man? No. Tell them. You must serve. Constitutionally you are meant for serving. Either you are president of the state or is anything. That is your problem. That is the beginning of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy. Jivera Sarupai Nitta Krishna Das. All living entities are eternal servants of God. And all service is the same. Eh? All service is the same. No. He says all service is the same. How can you reach all service to the same? Do you think they decided Everybody to... Everybody serves in their own way, but it's all... Okay. Okay. That is, unless you come to the service of God, it is wrong. I, I think he's asking you, but if it is service to God, then in God's eyes, all service to Him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. God, service to God means just like you put food stuff in the stomach. Then the service supplying energy is distributed automatically. Eyes get service, ear get service, hands get service, leg get service, everything. But if you put full stuff in the eyes, then instead of giving service, you make it blind. If you put full stuff in the ear, instead of hearing, it is blocked. So that is ignorance. You do not know what to give service. The knowledge, God conscious and knowledge to know why to give service so that the service will be automatically distributed. Pour water on the root of the tree and the energy will be distributed to the trunks, to the branches, to the twigs, to the leaves, to the flower, everyone. But we are missing that point. This is scientific. So instead of giving service in so many ways, social, political, philosophical, cultural, this way, this way, if you simply learn how to serve God, then everything is. So that is our philosophy, and we are endeavoring for this purpose that you uh, understand God and give service to Him, then the whole society will be perfect.
I have no more questions. No questions about the society. You asked earlier about a program for educating society. Is there still this? There's an education in that expert. I think it was there's also the techniques by which we go about educating society. We have some techniques. Okay, I think that not as it's not, not education. No, but I mean as far as our books are we have our technique oh, for educating society. Our program society. is to distribute the books of the data with our spiritual masses, philosophical commentary. We already discussed it a little bit before we came. And on this subject matter, I have written 62 mm -hmm. books already. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Srila Prabhupada.